volunteers from a Westside church bring donations to migrants sheltering in Pilsen today. The effort to house and take care of asylum seekers continues, but the Johnson administration admits it's been a big challenge. It's one thing to say that we're a welcoming city, it's a whole other thing to make investments in the infrastructure. In an effort to be transparent, Mayor Johnson's Deputy Chief of Staff, Christina Passion Zayas, gave council members the first public update on exactly how the administration is handling the continued flow of migrants arriving in Chicago. Since last August, about 11,000 have come here. Just in you know the past Is 10 days, we've hello? had 14 buses oh. arrive. Passion Zaya says close to 5,000 individuals are in 12 shelters across the city. 650 are in police stations. 189 households have found permanent housing. Another 440 have signed leases. And thousands of others have moved on from Chicago. Cassian Zaya says the city is working on an all hands on deck coordinated effort. The thought that we are now in a place around transparency and actually saying what should be happening makes me feel way better about the situation. 20th Ward Alderperson Jeanette Taylor says transparency also includes how the $51 million council approved for migrants is being spent. Passion Zaya says most of it is for a non local staffing contract established during the Lightfoot administration. The Johnson administration says the city city plans to hire local people. We are fully aware of the robust network of community-based organizations that we have here in the city of Chicago, and we know it will not be as costly. Meantime, Committee on Immigrant and Refugee Rights Chair Alderman Andre Vasquez says the city must have a good migrant plan in place before next summer's Democratic Convention. If you don't figure out how to address it, you're going to see these folks on the street during the convention, and that's not going to be a good look for the Democratic Party. Alderman Vasquez says more help is needed from the federal government. He says it would have been helpful if President Biden visited shelters and police stations during his Chicago visit today. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.